Hello. For some reason the event wouldn't work, so uh, here we are. Hey, you seem to be there. Hello, can you hear me? Let me know. Acoustic Blues, um, there's a Robert Johnson song, Where's a More Broader Take Than Last Week. This is number two of the mid, the museum sessions. Um, so called name, so named because um, my Acoustic Blues album, which I cannot have knock on me, um, was reviewed by a national blues magazine when they first came out a couple of years ago um, and was uh, described as. Uh, it's, it's something to do with like I needed to step out of the museum. Obviously, I'm playing like period music on the period instruments, but I like museums. So, uh, thank you, Mum. So the first song is a song called "Sitting on Top of the World," and it's based quite heavily on like, Johnny Shines' version, which is amazing. Uh, Johnny Shines travelled with Robert Johnson, um, for like a year or two. Um, and like uh, he's one of the few people I think has played with him live like he said he used to do come on in my kitchen live with him and like have second parts and um, do check out Johnny Shine's version of the song because come on in my kitchen is based off sitting on top of the world it's like the melody is quite based off this so yeah this is a Sitting on top of the world. This is my least gigged version, so this could go terribly wrong. You better come home. Ah, no way. See, this is right. Let's try that again. Welcome, everybody who's here, with me mucking up, uh, Johnny Shine's version of Sitting on Top of the World. Come the summer, and all the fall, just trying to find my i 
top of the world. Here come the station down in the yard. I catch a free train, cause oh, work a hard. version of sitting on top and come on in my kitchen um it has been a year since i did a gig right so the next song is a song i've gigged quite a lot it should be okay um this is a song by a guy called tommy johnson and it's called uh canned heat blues which was um in the prohibition there's a boil with paraffin kind of a thing but canned uh, lighting stuff to um give alcohol um which would explain Tommy Johnson's voice if you ever listen to Tommy Johnson. Um, oh, thank you, Martin. Uh, if I'm looking over here, so I'm keeping up with what all you're saying. Um, yes, this is a song called Can't Eat uh, Blues by Tommy Johnson from 1929, three years younger than this guitar. <laughs> Yeah. 
Staple of my old band, the Rumble Strutters um, set. Uh, we man, we are actually had the privilege at Tenby Blues Festival. I want to say like twenty sixteen, no, twenty sixteen or eighteen. Um, we had the privilege of jamming that with the uh, um, blind, Bo um, what's his name? blind boy Paxton, uh, where we went into the last <laughs> that bit. Um, he broke in the laughter saying like that was a mistake Tommy Johnson made and he kind of had to write it out and uh, amused him greatly um, <laughs> but he was a person we none of us could keep up with um, play, he was playing a piano completely out of a semitone out of tune just like just adjusted his hand position and carried on like nobody met, like nobody's business um, right so the next song I you got a choice you can have one of my own or we're gonna have um, we're gonna have states for blues. I think again, uh, is there any any preferences? States for blues or one of my own? I did one of my own. So this is called uh, so this song is called Old Tiny Hat Blues, um, and it's. Uh, it's, yeah, it's about, well, that's what's up, yeah. <laughs> We're not safe. Well, I woke up this morning, I fell round for my baseball cap. Well, I woke up this morning, I fell round for my baseball cap. All I could find was my old time hat. Now, what do you think of that? My old time hat. I got my old time hat. And I just don't know what to do. I got my old time hat. And I just don't know what to do. I'll pick up my strap and play me some blues. Now, what do you think of that? My old time is strap. I'm gonna play them like they used to. So I just do everything my way. Can't play them like they used to. But you know, Joe Bonamass is great. Got my old tiny hat, and everybody thinks it's great. Now, what do you think of that, my old tiny hat? Electric, no 
there's anything wrong with that trick. And I play all the songs the same way. There'll be two dozen solos. So everybody think it's great. What do you think of that old timey hat? That old timey hat. Well, it's in I'm sitting on the dirt track. Look at uh, what a photo opportunity. Sitting on the dirt track. Who cares what I sound like? As long as I've got that hat Now what do you think of that My old timey hat I got the look But I rattle just like an empty tin I've got the look But I rattle just like an empty tin But my old timey hat Cause all my musical sins So it's all time you hacked mainly about um, when you're doing all the blues festivals all the people playing strats uh, and every song being a vehicle for, for 15 solos which is fine like I'm into that thing oh, yeah, I like some of that stuff but it's a lot of <laughs> my old timey hats in themselves are fine you know one of the best bands I know the Washboard Resident does dress up in all the gear that's fine but it's uh, it's the yeah it's aimed mainly at the strat like widdly people who also wear old timey hats yes that explains it uh, there you go. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do Statesboro Blues anyway now. <laughs> Where's my sound record? Well, you get me one, and I'll put it up. At the moment, I got. At the moment, I got Neil and Crazy Horse. <laughs> Mike, if if you wanna get me a sound backdrop, I'll have a sound backdrop. Don't you worry. I my my non blues EP is now available on Sound soon. Is there an official pronunciation? You have to leave me a voice message. Um, <laughs> so yes, uh, do go check out their band camp now, which has a myriad of artists of multiple genres, and it's all fantastic stuff. And thank you for working with me. This is a uh, oh thank you thank you uh, Michael um, you and you and my mum might be the only ones that think that uh, <laughs> so yeah this is a uh, Statesboro Blues uh, it's a Blind Willie McTell uh, classic obviously made famous by the Allman Brothers um, it's a fantastic song I don't do it justice this is called Statesboro Blues I did try and get my twelve string ready for today but it's only got ten strings and it's a bit it needs it needs some it needs new strings and work so it's gonna have to be a six string version of it I'm afraid but Stay. We 
band for the <laughs> the album that never came um, and I've rearranged it into a slide thing but it's the first time I've ever done this in any sort of public setting uh, so bear with me um, I think I'm, I'm not, not in this style I anyway. So, uh, yeah, this will be on my next EP in whatever form. Um, it's called Love, at the moment, it's called Love Gone Cold Blues. <laughs> Cast your die, see how they roll for you, see how fate favors you. Love's gone cold, baby, I need it. Oh, 
That's a song called Love Gone Cold. Um, <laughs> this is sad. So yeah, um, please give me your thoughts. Um, <laughs> right. So something. Uh, so how long have we got? Oh, we got three minutes. Yeah, it was originally written for a twelve string, but my twelve string, um, I had a few problems with it. It's a, it's a sixties famous hootenanny, like the drum line and how. And it's lovely, but by Jove, it doesn't stay in tune. Um, yeah, and the last time I went to gig it in uh, Mid Wales Blues Club, um, all of the, or a few of the treble strings decided to tune down as I was playing. And it was just, I need to get uh, my luthier. And Richard Mayrick was a fantastic luthier. I built my other L1 uh, to look at it <laughs> again. Maybe new tuners. Hey, Chris. Oh, Spain, where that's uh, where that's sunnier than out here. Oh. Right, so what should we do? So do you want a Robert Johnson song or Big Bill Broomsy song? Please let me know to finish. Robert Johnson one. <laughs> I bet, I bet it is, Chris. Oh, big bell, right? Okay. So, no, I cut it some slack. <laughs> I got the key to the highway. I don't know when it looks. I got the key to the highway. Booked and bound to go. But I'm gonna leave here running. Cause walking. Come on. 
Miss Darling Just before I'm on my way Then I leave this time I won't be gone Highway, but it bound to go. And I leave here running, cause walking's most too slow. I thank you, other gift shop is on band camp. You can either go to Soon Band Camp or you can go to my band camp um, and pick up. Well, you can only get my blues album on my band camp. You can get my EP on both. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to squeeze Love in Vain in again. I can't do a not to a Robert Johnson song. <laughs> Watching my uh, sister and her husband, and my mother and her husband, and my dad and his partner. Here you go, I'm going to do a finish off now. If I can get this in tune. Oh, I'm going to have to resort to the clip on tuner. Um, again, this is 86 years old. So it's 10 years behind the other one, but equally doesn't like staying in tune. Um, yeah, we're going to do a Robert Johnson song now, one of his masterpieces, quite frankly, called Love in Vain. Thanks everybody for watching and sticking with it.
So there you go. That was Robert John. Robert Johnson's Loving Bean. Um, thank you very much for listening. Uh, and uh, see you in two weeks. I'm going to do these every two weeks. Um, so yeah, push myself a bit if the world ever opens up again. Um, so yeah, thank you for, for watching and I'll see you soon.